What's going on, YouTube Team G Sale back with another pickup video. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Uh, the last video I put out was a board game collection video, and I'm going to be doing those pretty frequently now. The only issue is they take a little longer to film uh, because I have to sort of chop in all of the video from the actual recording of the board game. So if you did enjoy that series, I'm going to be doing a lot more of those. Um, the next one I'm going to be putting out is video game board games, which might be kind of interesting. So stay tuned for that. Um, today is going to be a small pickup video because a lot of these pickups were just kind of randomly done. Uh, we went into lockdown, I believe it's been a week now. Um, th uh, pawn shops have somehow managed to stay open but everything else is pretty much closed that includes thrift stores and retailers and things like that so some of these were actually purchased before the lockdown and I just haven't had a chance to make a video and some of them are um, during the lockdown but on the more of a rather limited base rather I picked them up from somebody or whatever the case may be um, if you haven't already uh, subscribed to the channel please hit the subscribe button I'm making my way to 400 uh, subscribers and I'll be doing another giveaway video stay tuned because on one of my next uh, few videos I'll show what I'm gonna be giving away for that 300 subscriber or 400 subscriber giveaway uh, we're in the Minnesota Timberwolves today today is the NBA draft and the uh, Timberwolves draft at first uh, so I'm really happy with the selection and uh, hopefully town and uh, Russell have someone uh, in uh, someone better to play with this uh, year coming up so um, don't have the announcement yet because it's so early in the day but hopefully we'll find out later on today um, otherwise guys let's uh, just jump right into uh, non video game pickups uh, not much this week. Couple VHS tapes. Got these for fifty cents each at the Goodwill. This was of course. Oh, I'm sorry. Before the uh, shutdown, uh, the first one is the Jerky Boys. Uh, Love this movie when I was a uh, young teen. Uh, thought it was hilarious, the whole idea of prank calling. Um, that was basically the whole movie. It was a stupid comedy movie, but I liked it for what it is. So 50 cents, I added it to the collection. And at the same uh, thrift store, I got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. The Shredder is splintered. I love these Turtles cartoons. I have quite a few of them now. So whenever I find them, especially for 50 cents, I will add them to the collection. Uh, next up, Neil got me these two books at uh, Value Village. They were a dollar each. The first one is A Family Circus, Quiet Mummy Sleeping. I've been collecting these recently, actually. Uh, harder, getting harder to find Peanuts ones I need, so these ones are kind of cool, too. And, well, he did find me a Peanuts one this week for one dollar. Play ball, Snoopy. He found a few of them, but this is the only one I needed. I don't buy them unless I need them. They're very hard to resell. So that's that. He also found me a CD. I, uh, if you watched my last video, I sold off my CD collection. But hey, why not start building up again? For $2, he got me Enter the Wu-Tang 36 Chambers. Great CD. Again, I stream most of my music, but hey, I'll throw this in the collection and maybe after I save up enough, I'll trade them in again. Uh, two board games this week. The first one was part of a trade. Uh, a follower of the channel and someone I know well uh, named Robert uh, had, uh, he collects pretty much all things Nintendo and I had found, if you'd watched one of my videos going back quite a while, I'd found some Nintendo puzzles uh, that uh, at a thrift store and he was very interested in them and it took a while because he lives quite a far away from me and doesn't come into my area very often and he was looking for things to trade so I traded him one of those puzzles for for a board game, and this is Saved by the Bell. If we can get it in the frame there for you. Um, this is a, uh, a vintage one from 1992. It was 100% complete, and I'm happy to add that to the collection. <laughs> kind of cool, because Saved by the Bell is re-releasing a new show, I guess. I'm not really up to date on that, but something coming up for that. Um, I will show you what else he traded me in the video game section. Now, the last video game was also, last, no, sorry, maybe not last, last board game was also from Neil. He found this one. I thought there was a tag on it, but I guess there isn't. Uh, I think he got, oh, there it is. It's $3.99 at um, Salvation Army. I don't know if I'll get it in there. Salvation Army stickers are so small. Let's see if I can do that. Uh, no, it's going to be too hard to get it in. There it is somewhere. Uh, this is a park, our Milton Bradley game called Cuckoo Knots. It's really interesting. Uh, it has some kind of uh, air mechanics where you have to slam things into the air. Never heard of it. Gonna try it and looking forward to adding it to my board game collection. The last non video game pickup, um, it's actually, I took everything out of the box because the box is really heavy, um, but it was 100% complete. And I got this at Value Village for $4.99 with $2 off. I got a few more coupons. So this uh, essentially was $3. And this is a really interesting police race car chase set. I will see if I can get it in. It's a huge box. Um, 
yeah, it was kind of cool. The only thing, the only issue I had is the yellow car has damage to the actual pins underneath, so it needs to be repaired. But otherwise, the track works, the cars work, and I'll probably just try to resell this or trade it. I mean, for that price, it's hard to turn down. All right, guys, uh, we'll just jump right into video game pickups because that's all I have for non-video game pickups. The first thing was part of that trade. So I traded one of these, uh, one of those puzzles to Robert for a copy of Smurf for the ColecoVision. I did not own this one. I'm trying to kind of beef up my ColecoVision collection. And the other one he got me was, uh, surprisingly, I didn't have this. I had Donkey Kong Jr., but I did not have Donkey Kong for the Atari 2600. I have no idea. Yes, I, I just cannot believe I didn't have this one. So he uh, gave me that. So those were essentially, those puzzles were $6 a piece. So essentially I got those games for $3 each. Um, if you were watching my videos uh, a while back in the summer, Chris and I bought a huge lot from a guy here locally in town. Uh, and one of the things I got in that lot was a box Nintendo. Well, he messages me like, two weeks ago and he's like hey i found some manuals that you might want uh so i'll drop them off so he did so for you know essentially free i got the control deck zapper and super mario duck hunt manuals all in like minty condition i'm just gonna throw these in the box that he gave me because again i have no real use for them outside of that i'll just try to get that box complete all right a um, couple retro games this week, not too many. Uh, one of my good friends, Justin, at Retro Detective, sold me X-Men for the Game Gear for $6. So just another game to my Game Gear collection. And uh, a friend of mine, Ryan, who's uh, I know quite well, uh, sold me these two. They were, uh, he did two for 15, so they were $7.50 each for the N64. I have Revolt. And for $7.50, Scars. Two games I don't have much famili familiarity with. Wow, can't talk today. Um, I am, uh, wasn't a huge N64 guy. I essentially had five or six games for the system when I owned it. I had Mario 64. I had Turok the Dinosaur Hunter. I had uh, GoldenEye 007. I had um, uh, one of the wrestling games. I can't remember which one. I had Perfect Dark. And I... I don't even remember the other one, but I had very few titles, so it is kind of cool to actually try out some of these titles that I'm finding now. All right, uh, Wii U, I found three this week. Um, the first one I found at Value Village, it was $5.99 minus $2 off, so essentially this was $4, and this is a copy of Zombie U for the Wii U. A uh, common title, easy to find, but yeah, you know what, I'll add it to the collection. Looks kind of cool, actually, I've never tried it, so... That's one I'll have to do. This guy was uh, $2.99 at Salvation Army because they, they she goes, oh, it's a Blu-ray. Um, and that was Disney Infinity. I don't know. I was just wanting to get something that day. So three bucks. And this one was part of a trade. Um, I sold a lot of stuff this week. I went through my storage closet and just locally I posted everything from book doubles I had to uh, bobbleheads that I had that I didn't need to uh, DVD sets. I sold like a G.I. Joe one, a Fresh Prince one. I sold a whole bunch and I made quite a bit of money. Uh, this person bought a Pokemon book off me and then asked if I had the Pokemon board game. And if you have been watching my videos, I picked up the Pokemon Master Trainer game for like the fifth time now at Value Village for... Uh, it was $14.99, but I had a gift card. Um, and I said, you know what, you could, you could, we'll, we'll do a deal for it. Uh, it was missing some pieces. So he ended up giving me $25 plus this guy. So this is Ninja Gaiden for the, um, for the Wii U. So got that added to the collection and, um, yeah, sold my Pokemon game. I'll find another one. They, they come up all the time. Um, okay. So I got this one at Value Village, $4.99. I didn't have a coupon for this one. So this one was $5, and this is for the 360. This is Test Drive Unlimited 2. I had Test Drive Unlimited 1, so I figured, ah, whatever. I'll just add this one, that way I have both of them. The test Drive games are really fun, actually, so not a bad idea to have it. Um, okay, so these three games, I, uh, I when lockdown happened, I was driving by Pond Traders on Main, and they were open, and I thought, wow, that's weird. So I went in, and somehow they're getting around being the lockdown protocols because they do penny loans so i start looking at the games they all they always do three for ten so i ended up finding a wii game i needed i could not believe it i have not it's been a while since i found a wii game out in the wild that i need because i'm down to like my final 40 so i ended up getting sesame street elmo's musical monster piece complete in the case and i grabbed two more to make it three for ten so essentially this was like three dollars and 33 cents so also i grabbed flushed away for the gamecube because why not? It was complete and the disc was good and I didn't really need much else there. And I grabbed Ratatouille for the GameCube. 
No, why not? They were $3 a piece. There you go. All right, the rest of the games today were all from eBay. I've been selling a lot as normal. I'll post some of my eBay sales here. I sold a Save by the Bell DVD. Um, recently, I sold... Um, Oh god, a Coleco Gemini. I sold a bunch of random stuff. And with the profits from all of those sales, I purchased uh, these ones here. The first one is a sealed copy of Let's Play Garden. So I am really trying to finish my Wii collection by the end of the year. And when I say year, I mean school year. I'm a teacher, so by, by July. Uh, I found this one actually at Play and Trade. They had it for $4.99. Great price for this one, considering it's going for like $15 on eBay. And this is Create. Just it looks like an art art drawing type game but again for the price why not um uh, this guy was also on ebay uh this is karaoke joy sound i believe it was ten dollars on ebay they had a copy of plane trade for 15 so this was cheaper so that includes the shipping um this guy's kind of uncommon and surprisingly it's made by square enix i thought that was weird this is pony friends 2 uh for the uh wii kind of uncommon one so added to the collection and uh, this guy here i was a little worried because it was 99 cents on ebay and i thought whoa um but it didn't say if it was loose disc it so and i took a risk on it because it was literally i think it was 99 cents and like two dollars to ship so for three dollars i got bass pro shops the strike tournament edition it was missing the manual but at least it had the case it wasn't a loose disc so for three bucks why not and that's that. Otherwise, guys, that's it. No no really good pickups today. No Zelda music because I have nothing amazing to show you. Um, it's just been a mishmash of random titles that I've been picking up. Um, I may have even forgot something. But either way, uh, really looking forward to producing some more videos for you guys. And uh, we're in lockdown now, so I'm not... I'm not really going anywhere. I mean, I'll, if I see a deal on online or whatever, I'll, I'll do that. Uh, there's a couple local people that have Wii games I need that I'm going to go try to pick up and do an e-transfer and then just pick it up in their mailbox. Um, and maybe I'll have a small video for next time, but really I'm trying to finish this Wii set. That's my goal. I may end up selling some things from other collections because I kind of want to get the Wii finished. I'm so close. I can taste it. Um, the finish line is right there. 40 something, 43 games I think is what I need left. And uh, only a couple of those are actually expensive titles, like around 50 bucks. Most of them are 5 to $10 titles. So really excited for that. So stay tuned and I might have some of that coming up. And of course the board game videos will be uh, continually being released hopefully one per week if I can get around to doing that Christmas break is coming up soon so I'll have some extra time then especially since we're on lockdown but um, otherwise if you haven't subscribed everyone please hit that subscribe button I really appreciate all the support and I'm really getting myself close to 400 uh, one of my other goals is to try to get a thousand subscribers by the end of the year uh, and again end of the year being you know school year for me so july uh so that would be awesome if somehow that could happen so share this video with your friends smash the like button to show some support and comment below with anything you might want to say about this video anything you might recommend of videos you might want to see i'm still looking at possibly doing some collection videos for i did my nes collection but trying to maybe look at other types of videos for that and otherwise guys stay safe out there covid's not going away we got a long time with it so be safe if you are going to do trades try to make them as safe as possible and we'll talk to you soon bye now